hold at the Wofford four. Here is Lasky for the touchdown. Hundred sixteen yards of passing for Thomas, looking for Smelter. Touchdown! Thomas is back. Grand Field at Bobby Dodd Stadium. Justin Thomas, deep shot for Smelter, and the catch. DeAndre Smelter breaking away from Armfield. Smelter circles to the far side, and he will score. He can really run that time. Sixty-five yards. And here's Lasky, lowering the shoulder, keeps his balance, and a touchdown for Georgia Tech. The rest is history. Yep. Boy, 27 years later, he built a marvelous program as Days drives for the end zone and scores for Georgia Tech. Singin' Days. Justin. New quarterback in there, and he's in. Taking over Tim Byerly, the junior from Alpharetta, Georgia. He's got Zinnin, and Zinnin has it inside the 10. He dives. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. There it is. And it's Zinnin. He's in. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. So that's the way the second power formation. And it'll be the backup quarterback, Byerly. He's in for his second touchdown of the game. Right into the end zone for Georgia Tech. Eight yard run. Justin Thomas turns it up. And that is an impressive start for the Ramblin' Rep. Thomas back to throw. Looks. Finds Lasky. Lasky into the end zone. Touchdown. Georgia Tech. Touchdown to reception in the backfield. Byerly on a keeper. Byerly yeah, in for a touchdown. Georgia Tech. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. To the end zone. Yeah. Touchdown, Darren Waller reels it in. Waller had three touchdowns a season ago. His first game back, his first one of the 2014 season. 139 combined. Thomas, a little pump fake. Now goes deep, looking for Smelter. Smelter into the end zone. DeAndre Smelter. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. 57 yards in the air. Thomas, can he strike here under pressure? Gets away from Jackson, fires on the run. What a grab by Hill. Touchdown, the rambling wreck from Georgia Tech. 13 yard touchdown. Thomas rolling out. He'll keep. Dies for the end zone. Touchdown. Justin Thomas up high. It's Pater standing up in the gaps. Now they back off four-man rush. Brewer just throws it up and it's picked off. Intercepted by Davis back inside the 10 to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. There is a penalty flag down, though, at the 45-yard line. Boy, Brewer just tossed that up into the middle of the field where only bad things can happen. He was trying to hit the tight end, Hodges, on a middle screen. But the last thing you want to do is if that screen's covered, you don't want to float the ball in the middle of the field, just throw it in the okay. dirt. And that was the receiver downfield, number 79 on the offense. That penalty will be declined. The play results in a touchdown. We talked earlier about Brewer's mistakes. That was a big one. Georgia Tech can take the lead now with the extra point. Two timeouts left. You see the extra man in the box for Virginia Tech. Another pass play. Hey, man, it's wide open. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Smelter got free. And Georgia Tech within a point of tying the game. Did he get in? No call yet, now it is. Thomas, touchdown. 
to the near side. Pitch this time, and making his way in is Zenin. A well-constructed drive that finishes. Bostic on the pitch, and into the end zone. B.J. Bostic as Charles per Will they use him here? Here's the pitch, and here's the score. Dion Hill. Everybody took the... Thomas, pitch, Lasky. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Here he is again, inside the five, down to the three, still on his feet. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Tim Byerly, giving life to the Yellow Jackets. 11-yard touchdown run. For 125 yards, they're not going to stop play. Georgia Tech goes. This Byerly again. Still on his feet. Touchdown, the Yellow Jackets. Wow, how about the power of Byerly? Two Duke Blue Devils wrapped around the quarterback. And that's the second time we've seen him muscle in in the last three or four minutes of the game here. They give this to Lasky, and he's in for a Georgia Tech touchdown. Thomas fakes the toss, steps up, under pressure, throws for the end zone. Touchdown, Tony Zenon. Hill in motion. Thomas to throw. Wants Waller, who makes the catch, and he's gone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. 55 yards. Thomas to Darren Waller. On second down, Justin Thomas downfield. He's got Smelter. Makes the catch. Smelter with a lane to the end zone. And Georgia Tech strikes on the first play of the fourth quarter. Up the middle, there's Lasky, the fullback, churning for yards, and he's into the end zone. Right now. Thomas, the option, Smelter on the reverse. He gets a block from Waller, and DeAndre Smelter springs free down the sideline. Smelter gives Georgia Tech the lead. On the toss to the right, here comes Broderick Snotty, the fastest Georgia Tech yellow jacket, gets into the end zone, and Georgia Tech takes advantage of the takeaway and scores immediately. One, they get the snap off, Thomas rolling, and has a wide open man in the flat, it's Charles Perkins. In the Pittsburgh territory, gets a block, down the sideline, Georgia Tech does it again, a takeaway, into a touchdown. 15 yard line. Here's Thomas with space, and he's in for another Georgia Tech touchdown. That's Snotty in motion, and he gets the pitch. Gets a block from Charles Perkins, and has a first down, and Georgia Tech is in the end zone again. This is deja vu in the first five-plus minutes. Pit yep, Alex hey. Office, and it's first down at the 28. And here comes Snotty trying to gain control of the ball. And he makes a good cut for a first down. And still on his feet into the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. On 16 plays, taking off the last drive. Eight minutes and 54 seconds. And now Tony Zenon with a big run. Inside the pit, 20. Wow. No one will catch him. Georgia Tech touchdown. They took nine minutes off the clock and fumbled the ball on their last drive. They go one play for 50. Consistent offensive line. Deion Hill gets a good block along the edge. And Deion Hill is in for another Georgia Tech rushing touchdown. Connors.
and he's able to lunge forward. He's got the touchdown. Matt Connors, his fifth career touchdown. Remember, he had only seen it. Thomas for Smelter. Touchdown. Thomas will throw it, lob it up in the air. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. They go to Darren Waller, all six foot five. Hauls in the pass. Go third quarter. Lasky left side, touchdown, Georgia Tech. Lasky right side, breaks a tackle. Touchdown, Georgia Tech from eight yards away, and the Jackets have the lead. He backs out by winning that battle. Second and goal. Hand off to Days. Watt down, an excellent tackle, but not before he scores. And the rambling wreck. Rambles 71 yards in their first possession to take the lead. Second and goal. Days again, diving. Touchdown. Two possessions, two long marches for the Ramblin' Wreck. It's Lasky behind Thomas. He's got it, and he just walks into the end zone. No solution so far for the Seminole defense. Days again. Walks in. Third touchdown for the senior. And the Jackets score in their first possession of the second half. Ball now the 25. Thomas fires near sideline again. It's just a two-man game, breaking a tackle. There's Waller diving for the pylon. Touchdown, Tech. They're still alive. Sure are. Again. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Sinjin Days, the fifth-year senior from Marietta, Georgia. When we throw it, we mean it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Darren Waller. You saw the flag in the end zone. The receiver made the catch anyway. Talked about when backups are in the game. That's generally when Mississippi State gives up the biggest plays. There was one right there. Pass interference. Defense number five. The penalty is declined. Touchdown. Steps in. There's that play action. And Thomas with that great speed. And so dive pylon. Put it on the board. Down and four. They start that motion the other direction, come back with Days, and there's a huge hole. Midfield. And he batters his way toward the end zone. Goes in for the touchdown. There's no signal that he was out of bounds, folks. There's no flag. How about this 69-yard touchdown run by Senjin Days? And he'll have the father-in-law as a boss up in the... State and look at this run by Thomas. Great speed, touchdown is second of the night. Justin Thomas, they can't stop it, folks. 32 yards. Something critical half. Thomas keeps it headed in zone. Three touchdowns for the Georgia Tech quarterback. Which is exactly what they do. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Send Jim Days. Good call, Jesse. Why stop if they can't stop you?